Services Committee. That plays a key role in putting together the annual defense bill. Well, the New York Times accused of glorifying cancel culture. A number of critics saying a recent story seems to celebrate a Virginia student's vengeance on a teenage classmate. They also say it doesn't have much news value. Carol Markowitz is a columnist for the New York Post and joins us now. Carol, thanks for being here this morning. A lot of people are talking about this story and trying to see what to make of it, considering this, this young girl, incoming freshman, she has now been pressured to withdraw from attending that university as a result of a video and something she said when she was 15 years old focuses on the New York Times now for glorifying this event and what has now happened to her. Where do you stand on this? Yeah, absolutely. The New York Times proved that they're not the adults in the room and they let a child take down another child and ruin her life. Um, you know, anybody who keeps a video for three years is sort of a sociopath and we really need to watch that. Um, and the fact is that that kid needs help. I'm not saying go after the boy who uh, went after this girl and got her life ruined, but absolutely he is a kid and he got the New York Times to support his insane vengeance plan against her. Vengeance is cyclical. People are going to go after each other like this if the New York Times encourages it. And on the university's part, um, her lawyer is saying that there was a rush to judgment. Here's Shan Wu talking on behalf of his client. Watch. She had worked most of her young adult life for this shot at going to a great school and being on their team. That was taken away from her in what can only be described as a rush to judgment. She says this. This is Mimi Groves. She's remorseful for what she said years ago. It's, I'm not perfect, she says. What I said several years ago as an adolescent in a short three-second clip was wrong, irresponsible, degrading, and I take full responsibility for my actions and will continue to learn and understand the history and true meaning of that word. Her attorney says that there should have been a proper investigation, context, more context should have been provided, and that this was just a hasty judgment judgment uh, made, made on, on public pressure. Right. Well, the university is just scared, and they reacted as uh, somebody afraid of mob outrage. Uh, I think, you know, part of the problem is that we don't consider uh, intent whatsoever, you know, which is ironic because hate crime laws are specifically about intent. It's not just murder. You, when you kill somebody, you know, under the hate crime laws, it's about what was your intent? What did you feel? What did you think? Um, but she wasn't being racist. She was singing a song. And I think we really need to look at the intent of the situation. And universities need to stop cowering to the mobs on the Internet. And we, we all need to do a better job of protecting kids from this kind of outrage mob. Do we really want to live in a society where somebody can ruin somebody else's life for something that they did when they were 15? Let the first perfectly innocent 15 year old stand up and say so. And I don't think she's trying to defend it. I, I just read you her own words. And, and she has also said in, in other venues that she's appalled by that. And when she watches that video, she, she feels horrible about it. But Mark Thiessen joined us earlier and, and pointed out a very important point to this whole story. Watch. The lesson for this uh, tragedy is, kids, is that don't post anything stupid on, on, on social media. And not only that, don't do anything stupid when other people are posting on social media. You don't even have to post it yourself. People can take a video mm -hmm. of you doing something stupid, uh, and, and, uh, and that'll get circulated and it'll live forever. You just have to be incredibly careful. I feel just so badly for this generation of kids who have to go through this. It's a fair point, Carol. I mean, really, the, the truth is don't post anything on social media because anything could be twisted, especially for teenagers. I think that anything could be turned around and twisted, and, and it could be a life ruiner as we're watching this happen right now to this girl. Uh, 